Welcome back and ready one more time to Crankworks Whistler. We've got the fifth round of the EWS with the Orbea team. It's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. Enjoy the show. Hey, look at this! It's beautiful! Everything is crazy around, and you know why? Because we are in Whistler. It's like definitely the heart of the mountain bike community. It's one of the most crazy places ever. Everyone comes here to ride with the family, with the friend, makes some good times having some good party, the trail are really, really perfect for riding bike, the shape is perfect. There is some beautiful mountain, beautiful lake, everything is huge here. And we have the chance to ride the top of the world, the super famous state, the longest one ever. There is the Crank Rocks each year, definitely. Whistler is the place to be. And now, here we are guys, that's so perfect. Here we go. I think that Whistler is just such an amazing place for mountain bikers. Uh, we got the Whistler Mountain Bike Park in our background here. It's been going since 1998. Uh, so many trails, jumps, berms, rocks, drops, roots, mud, uh, everything that a mountain biker could dream of. Uh, it's truly a mountain biking paradise. And then you've got the, everything that's in the Whistler Valley, just trails all over the hills, everywhere you can see around us. It truly is a, just a, a mountain biker's dream. Bueno, aquí seguimos en las World Series y vamos a explicar un poco cuál es el proceso que seguimos después de que los corredores nos entregan las bicicletas. Lo primero que hacemos es limpiarla y quitarle el aceite a la transmisión ¿eh? para poder trabajar con la bicicleta en las mejores condiciones. Después volvemos a engrasar, revisamos todo, que no hay holguras, que no hay desgastes en la transmisión, que la cadena está abierta, el estado de las pastillas de freno, comprobamos de que todo está correcto. ¿Eh? Hablamos con los corredores para ver si han notado algo anormal en la bicicleta para solucionar el problema, tensiones de radios y demás y luego montamos todo lo que ellos necesitan. Tipo de cubiertas, tipo de suspensiones, setting de suspensiones o cambios que necesiten realizar pues como el tacto en los frenos, meterle más aceite o demás. ¿eh? Y de una vez de que está todo hecho la dejamos a punto para que puedan rendir al máximo al día siguiente. Welcome back and ready one more time to Crankworx Whistler. We've got the fifth round of the EWS with the Orbea team. It's gonna be wild, it's gonna be crazy. Enjoy the show. That's a loaded question. What do I think about Whistler? 
I think Whistler is awesome because it's nestled in the coastal mountain range and you've got complete seasons of mountain biking in the spring, summer and fall, awesome snowboarding and skiing in the winter and you've got crazy cool people here that come from around the world to shred and people come here to have a good time and to shred and that's what happens here. There's a lot of good times and there's a lot of shredding so um, if that's what you're looking for you'll find it right here in Whistler. It's awesome. Aquí estamos en Whistler ya desde hace siete años y en el paraíso, ¿no? Como todo el mundo dice. Mi historia, el que me trajo aquí fue por varios motivos, pues principalmente por montar en bici en este paraíso. Y aquí hay muchas cosas, ¿no? Ya no solo es el, las propias bicis. Detrás de todo esto hay una gran comunidad y una gran pasión, ¿no? Y esto, esto es una de las cosas que, que mucha gente cuando viene aquí por primera vez o solo por un periodo corto de vacaciones, la gente no lo conoce. Pero cuando vives aquí y te empiezas a saber pequeñas historias, pequeños fragmentos de, de cómo todo el mundo está unido por la misma pasión, esto es increíble. I like it. I love it. Hoy vamos a hablar sobre el entreno para enduro. Yo personalmente en pretemporada hago mucha carretera, eh, cruz country y, y gimnasio, combinándolo con muchos días de enduro y, y remontes, que suelo hacer con mi padre, Laura o mi hermana, son quienes más me ayudan. Eh, después también creo que es muy importante la nutrición, sobre todo tener una alimentación bastante sana, aunque yo personalmente no tengo ningún nutricionista pero intento pues eso, cuidarlo lo, lo máximo posible. Después también eh, meter días de descanso entre los bloques de, de carga del, del entrenamiento para así no saturarnos. Y yo creo que combinando todo esto pues conseguimos un entrenamiento súper bueno para Enduro. Así que nada, ahora vamos a descansar dos días y a empaquetar la bici que nos vamos para California a seguir dándole duro. Star California for the next round of the Enduro World Series. We spend the last week visiting the Envy factory and riding with the Albert USA guys. Envy Components are our main sponsor. They provide us with the wheels, the handlebars, stem, you know, lots of uh, components for a bike and you can be sure that they are the best. Yeah, we, uh, we had a tour around the factory. We saw how everything is, is made and produced and all the, the work is there, a lot of it, it's always handmade and yeah, it's really cool to see the, the passion and the dedication they put into uh, making sure they produce the best possible product for us and for everybody else. Uh, yesterday we rode some tracks, it was really dry and dusty and now it's just time to prepare the bikes for practice. It's going to be a good time for sure. Hey. Can you hear the quietness of the forest? We are in Nosta. We have been here yesterday evening after a big travel from Utah, Nevada and California. We crossed the whole state. It was really good, cool trip, really cool trip. And we decided to come here out of the forest to walk a bit. So we went in a track. We walked uh, one track this morning, eight o'clock. It's refresh. Um, what, what can I say? It's my first time in Nosta. It's really big. It's massive. There is some really huge rock. I never saw something like this. Many lines. And in Enduro, it's many things about the line. You have to take the good one. And here, there is so many possibilities. It's crazy. I really like it. It's gonna be one of the most technical races ever I've never seen. I think so. We walk one train and it's already like so destroyed, so dust. Wow, really cool. I can try to ride. It's really fun here. Whew.
the feedback that the riders give is is really one of the key things we look for in a relationship with the team. Um, it allows us just for the next generation of products to take the feedback and continue developing and advancing our products. And if it's, you know, if we can make a, a product that is, you know, received and loved by the top riders in the world, it's it's going to be good for everyone out there. Massive fires that are burning in the Amazon. Brazil is now using its own military planes to drop water on those flames. ABC's Matt Gutman is in Brazil. Matt, good morning. Good morning, Carol. It sounds like an impressive deployment. It also includes 24,000 troops, but they will be sent to an area about two thirds of the so we're here for a few days and we did some testing on the bike. We, we adapt the, the suspension as well. Um, we add some more pressure in the back. So we went from 145 to 155 and we add one spacer in the stem. So we have like bike now more, a bit more balance. Uh, it's a bit stronger bike than it used to be because there is a lot of bike park stages and we, we want to keep the bike rolling fast. That's why we tried uh, try this way and but nothing else has changed so the tires uh, DHR, DHR2 in the back DH casing and Asegai uh, DD in front and everything else stays the same as you know we have uh, Rayon as a race bike we have MV M7 uh, wheels which are super strong and they're working great um, then we have 170 travel in front with a Fox 36 fork and we steam and handlebar coat RSC brakes with the X01 SRAM um, Eagle derailleur. In rear we ride um, Fox Float uh, X2 air shock. Yeah, we have a rotor crank set with um, a crank brother. So that's our racing machine and that's what we ride. Today is finishing our three weeks journey in the North America. We start with the Whistler where we achieved so far the best main results uh, with the Thomas 7th place. Second week we move in Salt Lake City where we visit our main sponsor Amway Company. Third week we come here in North Star where we are facing really hard trails with a lot of dust and rocks plus altitude, altitude and really dry air. Results this week wasn't so good, but we are in one piece and we learn a lot from these trails. See you in Zemmer. Can I go? Yes. Bye. Bye, Primo. See you. I'm really happy with the race, but I do my best results that they are, but the best moment is now when we are going to eat a big big burger with Primoz. What? What? What I miss? No burger. And a big beer. This evening. And a big beer. Big beer. America. Welcome America. Burger! No, no. Pasta with olive oil and parmesan. Nothing else. America. Let's make America great again.
cuando le mandes esto a primos, que nos matan.